Hey guys, Blue Kool Aid here. I'll show you some stuff here, guys, that came in to me. This one right here is from Mike up in Michigan. Um, he's killing it like he always does. He's the guy that sent me uh, the computer. And what this is, it's a picture of the West at 3:45 in the morning. Okay, that light source should not be there. It's in the western sky at not even four o'clock in the morning yet. The moon wasn't there this day, and also the, there is no city sitting there. So that's a light source. We just don't know where it's coming from, um, and we don't know what's causing it. We can speculate. You know, sun simulator got turned on the wrong time. We've tilted some more, so stuff's starting to come up, and it's just starting to reveal itself. Um, then he sends me this one. All right, guys? This is the eastern sky at 1.15 or 1.45 in the morning. And again, the moon's not supposed to be there. And neither is, uh, there's no city or town there either causing that light. So we just simply don't know what's going on here. It could be an earth wobble type of situation. We've tilted doing this, tilted doing that. And there's a whole bucket full of explanations this could be. And you guys know I don't, I will tell you my opinion, and I also tell tell the other sides of my opinion, so you guys can make up your own mind. Um, my opinion here, guys, is, I don't know. That's my official stance. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I just know that it's an anomaly, and it's not supposed to be like that. So, anyway, we're going to move on. Um, there was a... A live show today um, I didn't actually catch it live I actually went back and looked at it after it was uh, made but um it was Wayne Steiger and he had he had hosted a live live show um, Jeff P was there you know the guy that uh, for those of you who don't know if you've been living under a rock um, <laughs> he's the guy that pretty much come up with the Sun Simulator idea or at least research it enough to make it a plausible thing we've got evidence that it that's what's going on so and good evidence he's like the expert on that um then you got uh, scott sion obviously we we know scott anybody in this community pretty much does and then you know you got dr albers <laughs> you don't even need to say nothing there i mean she's just man <laughs> so much more intelligent than i could ever even imagine just every time I watch anything that she does, I learn something. I mean, I think probably 99% of us do. So, you know, uh, you know, when she says something, you got to at least pay attention. Do I think that everybody's always right? No, I don't. Do I disagree with some stuff that people say? Yes, I do. Um, but I'm not going to be rude when that does happen. And I'm not saying that that's happening right here. Because um, I agree with a lot of stuff that's being, that I'm going to show you. Okay. So what I'm going to show you here first, guys, is there's new, there's a brand new satellite up there. I didn't know this actually was happening. This is from that live stream. Um, it's called Go 17, and it's taking pictures of the Earth, but. I'm not sure exactly what it shows, but I'm not even going to go into that. But it was showing a shadow. Okay? And it was, you know, about that big. It was dark, what have you. It could have been a shadow of what we're getting ready to talk about. Yes, it could have. Um, could it have been whatever? Don't know. I, and, but my opinion, it is related to what I'm getting ready to show you. Now, we talk about a magnetic pole flip, right? For those of you that don't know, during a flip, it doesn't, the earth itself doesn't have to flip. Could it cause the earth to move? Yeah. I don't know what it would take to flip it all the way on its side or what have you, but I don't, I don't know. Can it do that? Yeah, possibly, I guess. Um, but what I'm going to show you here is I think that I've got some pretty good stuff here that shows that it's actually moving. Our magnetics are changing. Now, after I show you this, it, it, it could go back to normal too, guys, is what I'm trying to say. All right? So, after I seen that shadow, it just like popped right in my head. And I was like, man, that just doesn't seem right. 
So I went to the Magneto Paws or magnet, Magnetic Shield models, um, SWMF, and that's where I was going for this because I didn't want to wait on a time lapse at the ISWA site. But the first thing I looked at, I mean, right off the bat, was that. Okay? I think this was it. Pretty close to it, yeah. Look at that. Okay? Now, what first thing I'm going to point out here, guys, the blue lines are, there, are lines that are supposed to connect us to the sun and other celestial bodies magnetically, right? Well, the blue lines are broken. I mean, all the way to here. Right now, I mean, right here, we wouldn't be connected to anything out here because it's not showing it. So, oops. This is something else that I wanted to point out. If you look right here, you see this kind of appendage thing pop out right there. I mean, that ain't normal either. If, you, if it was normal, it would be symmetrical. And then you would see one on this side too. At least, at least in my mind, it should be symmetrical. But, you know, I could be wrong there too. And if you look at the top half of this capture itself... Look, it's like a straight line going down straight right down it, all right? Anyway, that's the first thing I seen, so I started digging a little bit more, and I will come across this. This is our uh, south pole looking at the earth from the bottom up. That's low pressure, right, guys? I explained that in my previous video. The darker the colors, the lower the pressure, all right? Now, keep in mind where that's at. The position of this okay this is at 343 utc and that would be up here where you could see that the timestamp. all right this is at 609 so it went from over here and then three hours it went from over there all the way to here okay so then i go to the next next time it updated at 636 it moves some more to the left it's consistently moving to the left okay and this is the we're looking at the southern hemisphere looking at the earth from the bottom up now in my mind if, if low pressure is moving to the left on the south pole then at the top the higher pressure at the north pole will be moving to the right correct I mean, am I wrong there? Something else I'm going to show you real quick, though. See all this light pressure right here? It's all associated, guys. This really reminded me of that shadow that was jumping around. Anyway, but there, where I showed that, pretty much same capture. And there's that again. Um, I was trying to just keep from doing that, but <laughs> so here's basically the last capture that I seen. Okay, again. This thing went from here almost all the way across the earth in time. Okay, it's at 8.12. So roughly four and a half hours. Okay? That distance. And what did I say a minute ago? This is the north north pole of the chart. See, it says northern, northern hemisphere looking down on the earth. Well, here's that high pressure. And yes, it's moving to the right. So that's telling me that the whole thing is moving the same direction. These are our magnetic connections. This is the uh, ionosphere model. Okay. Now, obviously that's enough to be like, oh my gosh, you know, something's moving there, guys. You know, and moving pretty fast. Is that the pole shift that we've all been talking about? I kind of probably doubt it. <laughs> Because if that if our if our poles shift, we're probably all going to know it pretty quick. It might and, and, and you know if it does happen, it happens. Whatever. I don't. I'm not even sure how long it takes for the poles to shift. Actually, once they start to go ahead and commit and shift. So, and again, the magnetics can flip. The Earth doesn't have to physically flip. Now it could. You know, Naughty Beaver talks about that and how the, you know, the prophecies talk about that the sun will start rising in the west. Well, that's one possibility that would cause that is for the earth basically to just get turned up on its head. 
So, anyway, um, I wanted to bring that to you guys right there. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you this picture right here. Actually, no, I'm not. Not yet. I'm going to show you the first one first, right? <laughs> so, I started looking at this, right? Now, satellite line right here. Okay. Obviously, the heavier pressure made it inside our satellite orbit. And if you want to really, really look close, you can see some of this pressure creeping into our atmosphere. And I've seen this little notch out right here a lot lately. Now, what I'm, what's really uh, compelling here is the fact that, see the higher pressure is down here? And then there is no pressure hardly at all here, and then... Then you see it again here. So if you, you know, common sense would say that that's what it's doing. Okay. Is that a flip? I don't know. Is it starting to flip? I Again, I mean, you can go look at some, uh, if you research it on Google, you can find like a, it's a, called the magnetic locator tool or something like that, magnetic north and all that. It's a natural cycle for our, our Earth to cycle through to a pole flip. And then it'll flip again, and it'll flip again, whatever, after however many years or thousands of years or what have you. Um, yeah. It doesn't mean that our Earth is going to just flip. But... For this, it just really looks like it's turning, guys. I and that magnetic that magnetic uh, tool there, it plots points. Okay, it plots magnetic north because it constantly changes. It's progressively got faster within the past few years, and it even changed direction a little bit. So I mean, it all points to what we all know is coming. But you know, is this is this the time for that? I don't know. <laughs> you know, I'm just a stupid Hoosier trying to give you guys some good information. Anyway, um, again, it's going to the right. Now, where, where can we look at these tools? I've showed you guys this before. But it's the SWMF. If you just want the most recent captures of the, this stuff, one capture, then it will be right here, okay, the SWMF tool, and it gives you the most recent capture of all those models. Now see, man, I mean, wow, it almost looks like it went back the other direction now, except for right here, obviously, but see how you got this lower pressure up here now instead of down here? I mean, it's, it's going all a little wacko here, guys. And look at that. Oh, man. See, I'm looking at this for the first time, too, guys. But, you know, again, there's really not a whole lot here, and you got more pressure here and then going down this way. So I, I don't know. Now, we'll go down here and look at that the ionosphere real quick, okay? Oh man, yeah, look at that. Oh wow, that like even turned. And look at this, that's a perfect sphere. Man, just don't know, guys. That's just really odd to me. Now, look at that chart, it's kind of all over the place. Here's a perfect example of what they do. They change the chart numbers over here like I showed you in the other videos just to make this thing look a little better so it don't freak people out. Oh, man. Let's see what this... Oop, okay. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys that, you know, it, and it just is what it is. Uh, I'm going to take you guys over here to the ISWA site real quick because I had a sub from, uh, I believe, from Germany. Can't, I don't know if I can't remember if they're going to let me use their name or not. I'll have to go look at my emails. But I will give a shout out here very shortly. But I'm going to take you guys back to April uh, April 15th. 
Uh, I'm gonna pause it while I get there, okay? All right, guys, I'm back. Okay, I got this loaded up for you guys. This is back on April 15th. This was sent to me from uh, a sub over in Germany. I have to get the name. Um, I have to make sure I can use the name. I just need to look at my email. I think they gave me permission, but I'm not going to do it unless I 100% know. Okay. But, again, April 15th. Watch this, guys. It's going to toggle through. You see it moving there? All right. Watch this. See that growing? And look at that. Okay. Next one's what's going to put everybody on the floor. Look at that. <laughs> Back April 15th. Okay. What in the world, man? What in the world? You know what I'm saying? Wow. Anyway, I wanted to show you that because that was brought to my attention. So, you know, you'd have a hard time convincing me that I need something sitting there. <laughs> and if you guys look at the size of that, of course, that's magnetically, guys. So we don't know exactly how that's not really like a true representation of the size of something. So anyway, um, I wanted to show you this one too, the same time frame. Yeah, it's April 15th too. Just wanted to make sure. Now you see this thing starts, is reacting also. So. All right, I mean, look at that. Now what I find interesting, you guys just, I just showed you guys exactly what I thought was going on as far as it being tilted towards the top a little bit. If you look at this, it's more pointing this way. We're back here in April. Now, does that have something to do with the seasons and what our positioning with the sun? It could, okay? In other words, we're, we'd be, we would be connected to the sun with a tilt right now more so than we would, you know, other times of the year. So the seasons could have something to do with that. But I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, let's go ahead and take it on forward here. See if it does anything towards the end. So you still trying to move. I better pause it. All right. Anyway, guys, you see that thing doing that. I just wanted to show that because they put some work into finding that. That was, that was just, yeah, finding that. <laughs> okay that's just crazy in my mind anyway guys um yeah go check out that live stream it was some good information on that you know jeff p he's the guy that you know does the sun simulator stuff did the research stuff on that and obviously you got scott sion he's well known in our community um very good researcher um, dr albert she's a physicist again rock on because she very intelligent you wayne wayne same way you know um anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end that video there and uh i'll try to make up some more stuff this weekend and post it um i may and i've said this before but now i got my computer um there's a good chance i'm gonna do a live show if you guys hit that notification bell thing if I go live, you guys will get a notification. You guys can stop in the chat room, ask some questions or something if you want to. I'm not sure if I'll have a guest with me or a partner with me at all. I don't know yet. Um, I, I don't even have a time yet. So, But I, I just want to bring that, all this stuff to you guys. And, you know, I ain't trying to fear monger or nothing like that. But we really, it's time to prepare a little bit, guys has been for a while you know just buy stuff that you can still use if nothing happens that's my best advice i could give you you know i've had a lot of comments and things like that asking those kinds of things but anyway guys love all of you god bless yeshua saves and uh you can drink this kool-aid <laughs>